hundred percent. I'm ready. Katsumi. As a father and mentor, I've tried to train you well. I couldn't ask for a better student. You've taken my teachings and improved upon them tenfold. I have no more advice to offer the esteemed ace of Shinshin Kai, only this warning. Being the face of an art form is a perilous honor. Every time you step foot in the ring, the reputation of Shinshin Kai hangs in the balance. Today, you face the wrath of Chinese fist fighting. The cornerstone of modern karate. Should you lose to Retsu Kaio, I couldn't in good conscience go on preaching karate to my students, knowing my own son got trumped by Kung Fu. With that kind of loss, I'd be forced to close our doors. <laughs> well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the second quarterfinal matchup of the tournament. He seems focused, confident. That's a good sign. Standing tall in the White Tiger corner, the ace of Shinshin Kai, Katsumi Orochi. That's me. Piece of cake. In the Blue Dragon corner, Chinese fist fighting expert, Retsu Kaio, represents the best Kung Fu has to offer. It's Karate versus Kung Fu. The battle for superiority is about to begin. It seems like only yesterday he came into my life. It was a perfect sunny day. The circus was in town. No one could have foreseen the tragedy that was about to unfold. Katsumi was a bright boy, a gifted performer with strength far surpassing his age. His father was a lion tamer and my best friend. Natsuki and I would visit whenever they came to town. It was always great fun and that day was no different. Until... Everybody One of the lions escaped from the arena and went on a lethal rampage, mauling everything in sight. In the chaos, one little soul welcomed the beast with open arms. Before anyone could comprehend what they were seeing, Katsumi had the lion purring like a kitten. Unfortunately, this wonder came too late to save the beast's last victim, Katsumi's father. I've always looked back on that fateful afternoon with mixed emotions. Katsumi lost his father, and I gained a son. Level with me, Retsu. Is that ponytail real? You can tell me. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You pull it off. <laughs> He won't let us down. Begin! Katsumi takes an offensive stance, signaling the urgency with which he views this fight. Whoa, slow down, wait. Eight joints are utilized in a true fist thrust. Working in unison, they form the devastating power of the sonic speed true fist. Who will be the fastest? Don't fool around, boy. Go straight for the jugular. Retsu, by contrast, remains neutral, relaxed. A silent dare for his opponent to come to him. Despite Orochi's overt warning of his lethal attack, Kaio simply waits. Katsumi created the Sonic Speed Fist more than a year ago, and I still haven't devised a suitable defense against it. Don't mean to brag, but Retsu Kaio doesn't stand a chance. He's blind to the real danger. No matter the target, high, mid, low, Katsumi's stance makes him impervious to Retsu's counterattack. Retsu stands ready as Katsumi makes his move, slowly closing the distance between them. We've already seen how ferocious Kaio can be to his enemies. The question is, how will he answer the ace of Shin Shin Kai? Attack or wait for me to make my move. Either way, I'm taking you down. 
I love my job. <laughs> Why do I suddenly feel the urge to duck? <laughs> you trying to scare me? Whoa, what on earth just happened? Ritsu thwarted the ace's attack without lifting a finger. Somehow, Retsu has stopped Orochi Cole. It appears this battle has been decided without a single blow. I had no idea Chinese fist fighting packed such a punch. Retsu's move certainly begs the question. Is Chinese Kung Fu the most powerful martial art in the entire world? That is an honor which could be assigned to many styles. The question you should ask is not which art form is the best, but which art form you can best master. Chinese fist fighting is a complex martial art. <laughs> to truly understand it takes a lifetime. Throughout the ages, men from all walks of life have been enticed to devote themselves to unlocking its mysteries. But as you well know, Retsu Kaiyo, with great knowledge comes great sacrifice. This rock is known to many as the Great Hitting Stone. It is an ancient tool used to strengthen a pupil's body and limbs. Every hit, strike, and kick slowly transforms a jagged rock into a perfectly sculpted sphere. Impressive as this may seem, the aggressor does not come out of this exercise without extensive injuries. This is to be expected as training offers enlightenment, not invulnerability. But throughout the long and rigorous training process, the tender flesh of a novice grows thick and coarse. By this time it becomes all too clear that the rock, like any formidable enemy, should be attacked gradually, slowly, layer by layer, until all defenses are gone. Eventually, the stone relents to flesh and bone, moving with such staggering force and speed that a man can kick his way through a solid rock wall without sustaining a single scratch. For those who achieve this level of superhuman speed, the arms and legs are arrows that can pierce through mountains as easily as they can flesh. Behind me is a testament of what a man can achieve, a magnificent example of self-discipline, strength, and focus. This was the handiwork of Kung Fu Lord Ryu Kaiyu. It's difficult to favor any single accomplishment when you consider the 4,000 year history of Chinese Kung Fu. However, not even the scholars of Aeor would debate this piece as being our crown jewel. A boulder was beaten into this volcanic glass two years ago by... <sighs> Ouch! Katsumi Orochi just barely manages to get himself back into the ring. He's in trouble! It's difficult to believe that this is the same young man credited with reinventing the art of karate. How can the ace of Shinshin Kai uphold the reputation of his family's dojo when he can hardly hold himself up? A loss now would be a mortal blow to the popularity the Orochi legacy has enjoyed for generations. So is that smug optimism. I thought you were indestructible. <laughs> it appears as though the self-proclaimed face of karate now wears a frown. And somewhere along the line, you lost the message and simply decided to make one up as you went along. Your clan has tried to redefine karate for the masses. The dog and pony show has come to an end. I'm here to expose you as the fraud you are. What you claim to have mastered in the last 20 years, Chinese Kung Fu perfected 2,000 years ago. 
You took a sacred trust and twisted it into lies for your own benefit. However, like you, Katsumi Orochi, they will fade away and perish. Match over! In what must be declared as an unbelievable defeat, Katsumi Orochi, the crown jewel of modern karate, not only loses the match, but his luster as well. Special announcement. All the contenders who have advanced to the quarterfinals have done so by obtaining hard-won victories throughout the course of this tournament, with the exception of replacement fighter Andriana Zargon. In fairness to his competitors, Zargon protested this fact and has been granted a special match to showcase his worthiness. I am told our sponsor Mitsunari Tokugawa has something very special planned for your viewing pleasure. Tiger Corner, Andriana of Sargon. Now help me lift the cage door open. All right, boss. Whatever you say. Mother of... It's a giant serpent! I don't know how management found that thing. Let's just hope Sargon can take it down before it gets hungry. You've topped yourself this time. Two matches for the price of one. I can't lose. One could scarcely imagine what's going through Zargon's mind right now. He allowed the anaconda to bite his arm. I'm no master strategist, but there's got to be a better plan than that. Flip throw! Zargon plans to wrestle his slithering opponent. A back toss! Now a hip throw! Slowly but surely, Zargon's techniques are wearing the reptile down. What a phenomenal show of skill by Russia's premier juggernaut. Zargon is in trouble! Amazing performance! All competitors would do well to remember. When Andrianov Zargon puts his foot down, you stay down. The Russian's quick victory over his behemoth foe has proven to this crowd that his strength and skill more than warrant his participation in the SFC quarterfinals. It is unbelievable, is it not? One man is responsible for all of this devastation. Andrianov Zargon, in chains no less. Look at him. Magnificent, isn't he? We must harness his power for the motherland.
good day, comrade. You are a magnificent athlete, a credit to your people. They need you now. Grand competition. This man has no limits. Andrianov Sargon, the USSR's strongest wrestler, seems bent on destroying anyone that comes within range. move known only as the Zargon Special. Russia pins its hopes on this unstoppable force of nature. I have had a conversation with President Davkalich. He informed me our Andrianov is an amateur in all manner of athletics. He has not trained one single day to become a wrestler. Zargon only knows the basic rules, yet this did not prevent him from crafting perfect record, winning every match. He has unlimited power. No matter who our enemies pit against him, Zargon will crush them all. That was stunning entertainment. Mr. Zargon, you are a true credit to my stable of contenders. I think the art of wrestling showcases but an inkling of your potential. <laughs> Mr. Tokugawa! What a surprise! Sargon has decided to address our sponsor. This should be interesting. Bring me opponent now. I tire of waiting for fight. I will grind bones to dust for Russia. While you can't say much for his grammar, this towering muscle board has a true fighter's spirit. Jack Zama, where are you hiding? Sargon is here. Face me. He's coming! Here he is from the Blue Dragon Corner, Jack Zama! The energy between these two titans is explosive. We may not be facing a match with these men so much as Armageddon. And if you're waiting for an exchange of macho quips, good luck. Not a sound from either warrior, yet the silence speaks volumes as hatred fumes from their eyes. The intensity these men are generating is positively terrifying. Fighters, return to your sides. The third match in the quarterfinals is underway. Both men looking as if they've made a pact with some unseen evil, each pledging their soul for a win here today. I have never witnessed such brooding animosity between contenders. Get set, folks. This one is going to be ugly. Begin! Sargon breaks into a run! A crushing tackle by Andrianov! Endures a backward throw. Anyone want to catch this fly ball? Extraordinary. Incredible. Repeating forward somersaults. Especially for someone of Andrianov Zargon's colossal weight and frame. A lunar somersault. This giant has immeasurable gymnastic skills. Boxing, further demonstrating his diverse skills, the Russian refuses to stay contained within his wrestling background. This guy could give Ola McGregor a run for his money. His power is 
incredible, intense, and every other adjective you can think of. There is no disputing the fact that Andrianov Sargon is the strongest import this competition has ever seen. A body and mind of steel, this monster is a one-man judge, jury, and executioner. And he's about to pronounce sentencing on Jack Sama.